In today's video, there's no messing around. I have quick fire nine essential tips in Adobe Illustrator to help you with your workflow heading into 2020 that are still relevant now and will be for the next year. So my first tip in Adobe Illustrator helps you to actually converge lines to a certain point because sometimes when we're designing illustrations or graphics, we have different points and different parts of the graphics that are not actually connected as they should be. Now to get around this and to actually solve this problem, you need to press A for the direct selection tool and then select all of the anchor points that you want to merge together. Then come into path, average, and then you can choose horizontal, vertical, or in this case, both. And that's gonna merge all of these anchor points into one single location perfectly and precisely. Now that looks pretty neat and I can even go a step further and make this entire part of this design here down to a single point by using the same method. This is great for, you know, just cleaning up your designs and working on digital illustrations and things like that. This is one of the tips that I've recently found myself and I'm glad to share it with you guys. If you see some tips you already know about in today's video, keep watching because there's loads of great content to come. So the next tip uh, is actually really helpful for product designers and people who use patterns on a design. I'm gonna press M for the rectangle tool and generate a square and then head into the swatches library and add a standard pattern to the actual square. Now, if I want to rotate or to change the direction of the pattern, just changing the square itself isn't gonna be helpful because I want the square to remain the same, but the pattern to change. So come up to object, transform and rotate. And you will notice that there is actually an option here where you can uncheck the shape itself and just rotate the pattern. Click the preview option and you can see your pattern being changed around your design in real time. Like I said, this is great for product designers who use patterns across say a label or a kind of a box product design. I really do like this feature in Illustrator and it's something not many designers know about. The next tip is something I mentioned before, but it's really, really handy. And that is firstly, you need to open up the Illustrator preference settings, which you can do here, or you can just press command or control K and then come into the type settings. Here you can choose the number of recent fonts that you've used, zero to 15. And this is handy because we often, you know, are accustomed to using certain fonts for our designs and we have our personal preferences and what we'd like to use. And so Illustrator is going to actually mark the ones that we recently used at the very top of the character window. And since I've recently updated Illustrator, I've only been using three fonts as of, you know, just two days of working, but I could have up to five because that's what I selected in the preferences window. But it is handy to have the recent fonts at the very top because those are your favorite fonts that you pretty much are using on a regular basis. So continuing with the typography, the next tip here today is that you can have a keyboard shortcut for increasing the tracking in your typography by 20 points. And that is by pressing the Alt or the Option key and then just hitting the left or the right arrows on your keyboard. This is not accurate because it's only set to 20 points per nudge, but it can be useful in certain situations and it's something that does help my workflow and it does speed things up in certain situations. In a similar fashion, you can actually increase or decrease the leading by holding down the Alt Option key and pressing up and down on your keyboard. And again, this is another quick and easy way to adjust something that you would have to do in the type or the, the character window. So tip number six, here's a logo that I'm working on and it's, it's not finished yet, of course. It's just something, it's a work in progress. But what if I wanna scale this logo down precisely by 25% just to see how it looks? Well, we can use mathematics to do that in the transform window. Notice the height and the width values in the transform window. We can change those to 25% and then hit enter. And my logo will be instantly transformed and scaled down by 25% from the original. And if you are liking today's content, do hit that like button because my channel needs it right now. And of course, do leave me a comment on what you think about my content that I produce here at Satori Graphics. So tip number seven is something pretty straightforward, but not many people 
actually take notice about it and that is there are two buttons in the align window that evenly distribute your shapes or your design assets vertically or horizontally in a perfect manner every single time. And of course, once you've done that, you can then go ahead and align them, you know, in a straight line, like you can see here. But these two buttons in the bottom left of the align window are perfect to use when you want to space out objects evenly, vertically or horizontally. Now, staying in the align window, sometimes we have our designs that are kind of like not organized well and they're not designed perfectly. If you use the direct selection tool by pressing A, and then you can select certain anchor points, you can actually align anchor points as well. So I can actually completely make this shape here completely flat, parallel to everything else. So aligning anchor points is also possible in the align window. That's one tip you should remember. So the final tip today is something that is a tool in Adobe Illustrator and it's something that I use very, very often because it's very powerful and it's very handy and that is the group selection tool. So let me go ahead and make a clipping mask of this shape here and the brush strokes will actually be masked into the circle. If I use the group selection tool, I can actually click and move parts of the mask and the design around, which you can't really do otherwise. If I hold down the command or the control key, I can also expand the size of this area here. And of course, also I can delete and remove areas that I don't want to use on my design using the group selection tool. The group selection tool is also really powerful when you're working with multiple layers of designs. And that is probably one of my bonus tips today is you must be using the layers window in Adobe Illustrator because it's so powerful and it's so handy. So yeah, thanks for the support from everyone on my recent video. I am getting better, things are getting better, but I need you to like this video if you did find the content useful and of course subscribe if you haven't done already if you want to keep up to date with every single video on my channel. Also, hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload a video to YouTube. Until next time guys, have a great day and design your future today. Peace.